Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me today. Another project, and I know what you're thinking, why does he keep doing all these projects and fixer upper videos? Well, there's nothing else to do. So I'm fixing some things that need to be fixed. And the goal of this video today is to clean that carburetor. Cause it flooded and it just likes to keep flooding and it won't start very good unless I take the spark plug out and clean it every single time I try to start it unless it's like running good but then it tends to flood again so I'm hoping I can spray it out with some carb cleaner and maybe get the float to start working again maybe better so hopefully I can get it to work but we basically have to flip this turn it around right here and pull that bowl off and then spray up in there clean it all this is a quick fix. I'm not going to take anything really apart in it. But this bracket here gets in the way of turning that. So I'm going to have to take this off. But anyways, thanks for watching and let's start doing it. Now it's off right here, so now we just have to move on and rotate this thing. And now we just loosen this last one up right here. I already unloosened the other one. Came off pretty good. Just need it loose enough where we can twist the thing. And I think that's got it. It might be a little tough. Oh, no, it's coming. Here she comes. Just rotate it as much as possible so you can reach those screws this hose line that fuel line isn't helping me but yeah I might have to rotate it just a little bit more or I might have to just take that um, fuel line off as well <laughs> But that shouldn't be too hard. So I'll just take that off and rotate it the rest of the way. Which I did. It came off pretty good. Well, it came off and it rotated pretty good. Now I can reach inside of there with my screwdrivers to get those out. Those screws came out actually surprisingly easy. Usually they're all tight and corroded, but not these ones. They actually came out pretty good. So, let's see what's in there. I don't want to get too dirty. Cord. Just continue my way. Move it back here. There we go. Boom. Oh, drop something. <laughs> that was the the jet. Don't want to hurt that. Oh well, I'll find it, but. Doesn't look too bad in there. Now I just gotta reassemble it. But I'll find that pin and then I'll come back with uh, the spray and spray it all out. Okay, I found all the pieces that dropped and fell. I found out where they went so I can put it back together. But now we clean it. Give it a good shining in there. Clean everything out. Sure everything's good just so everything seals up good there we go and then I'll spray all the little pieces and parts in here because those are the parts so it slides freely and I'll put it back together I got all the little pieces and parts assembled in there so this is the float part and then there's a pin right in between it right here that holds it in place and then right here you can see that little metal piece behind the flat bar that is the plunger that plugs that orange thing so that's important so it's a little piece of rubber on metal so don't lose that if you ever clean it but that's all there is so it just closes it off and plunges it in so 
And now, I just button it all together, put everything back, and I'll come back with an ending, ending shot for you. Okie dokie, got her all back together. As you can see, it's all nice and tight. The front's on. I tightened all these screws back up in here. Put it all back together. Turned off, well, I had to uh, clean the spark plug because the last time because it was flooded but then after that it started right up as you can see now we can see it'll start up this time give it a good kick <laughs> This seemed to be good. I rode it around for a little while, didn't flood again. Now the real test is to see if it runs tomorrow. <laughs> That's how it's done, a quick clean on the carburetor. Hopefully I fixed it. So yeah, so see you in the next video guys. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one next week.